Well, if there was a group of eight, the group of seven would very likely have included Emily Carr. Her paintings have earned her international recognition. Emily Carr was born 141 years ago. Bruce Kirkpatrick reports. Emily Carr is sometimes called the eighth of Canada's group of seven. She was born 141 years ago this week. There are 1,200 paintings and sketches by Emily Carr at the Royal BC Museum. Some signed M. Carr. She was also known as Millie Emily Carr. Her father, Richard Carr, wrote in his diary, Emily Carr, born December 13th, 554 a.m. in Victoria, 1871. Uh, Richard Carr's uh, papers are part of the BC Archives collection. He was a, a, an important merchant in Victoria and he was very successful in the California Gold Rush which helped the family with their move to Victoria. Before the Carrs moved to Victoria, they lived alternately in England and California. The Carrs had nine children, five girls, four boys. The baby boys died except for one who lived to 24. But the five sisters lived beyond and Emily to 73. In 1888, this photograph was taken of the five Carr sisters. Here's Emily, age 16 or 17, the artist. Uh, here's her sister Alice, school teacher in James Bay. Uh, here is Lizzie, uh, physiotherapist and masseuse. Uh, Edith, who kept everybody in line and was a founding member of the YWCA here in Victoria. And uh, her, the sister Clara, who married a major in the Royal Engineers and was the only one of the sisters to have uh, children. She had five and she's buried in Vancouver. In 1863, the Carrs bought four acres in James Bay and built a house. Meanwhile, Emily Carr studied art in Canada, the US, England and France. She suffered from bad health and could be difficult. It depended on whether you'd take her on her own terms or not. Some people found her gruff and difficult to get along with. Artists found her a good close friend and she had a very small compact circle of, of uh, friends and neighbours within the community. Emily Carr was as much an author as a painter and published numerous books. She had a sense of humour from notes called Sister and I, Edmonton Mud. She had beloved pets, a monkey, parrot, dogs and cats. And she wrote to BC Premier John Hart in 1941, saying, I am proud to be a native daughter. My love for the West is very great, inspired by the indigenous peoples of the Pacific Northwest. Emily Carr died in Victoria in 1945. This Week in History, brought to you by the Royal BC Museum, bringing British Columbia stories together.